about 20 percent. So some Palestinians can only find jobs building Israeli settlements. They're so ashamed to work here that they asked us not to show their faces. The settlers now number about 280,000, and as they keep moving in, their population keeps growing, about 5 percent every year. But the two and a half million Arabs have their strategy too. They're growing bigger families. Demographers predict that within 10 years, Arabs will outnumber Jews in Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza. Without a separate Palestinian state, the Israelis would have three options, none of them good. They could try ethnic cleansing, drive the Palestinians out of the West Bank. They could give the Palestinians the vote. That would be the democratic option, but it would mean the end of the Jewish state. Or they could inflict apartheid, have the minority Israelis rule the majority Palestinians. But apartheid regimes don't have a very long life. Unfortunately, and uh, I have to say to you that apartheid is already in place. Apartheid is already in place. Absolutely. Apartheid? Israel is building what it calls a security wall between the West Bank and Israel. The Palestinians are furious because it appropriates 8% of the West Bank. Not only that, it weaves its way through Palestinian farms, separating farmers from their land. They have to wait at gates for soldiers to let them in. Settlers get a lot more water than Palestinians, which is why settlements are green and Arab areas are not. Moderate Israelis who deplore the occupation used to believe passionately in a two-state solution, no longer. Meron Benvenisti used to be deputy mayor of Jerusalem. Israeli leaders and Palestinian leaders are negotiating a two-state solution. What do you think the prospects are? Prospects are nil. The uh, geopolitical condition that we created in 6 or 7 is irreversible. Cannot be changed. You cannot unscramble that egg. Does this mean that the settlers have won? Yes. And the settlers will remain forever and ever? I don't know forever and ever, but they will remain and will flourish. The settlers, the attitude that I present here, this is the heart, this is the pulse, this is the past, present and future of the Jewish nation. So you're saying basically that you and your fellow settlers are immovable. I say that we and the settlers here are immovable. We will stay here forever. But one very important Israeli says she intends to move them out. She's Foreign Minister Zippy Livni, the candidate to become Prime Minister in elections next month. She's also Israel's chief negotiator with the Palestinians. And she told us peace is unthinkable with the settlers where they are. Can you really imagine evacuating the tens of thousands of settlers who say they will not leave. It's not going to be easy, but this is the only solution. But you know that there are settlers who say, we will fight, we will not leave, we will fight. So this is the responsibility of the government, of the police, to stop them. As simple as that. Israel is a state of flow and order. And disorder. Here's what happened three years ago when the army evicted just nine families from a West Bank settlement called Amona. It was chaos, the first time since the creation of the state that Jews were in pitched battle against Jews. To Israelis of all stripes, it was not a pretty picture, and it made the government loathe to try again. Officials fear that more battles to empty settlements could rip Israel apart. They're afraid that religious officers in the army, and there are an increasing number of them, would disobey any order to evict settlers. There will be a mutiny in the army. A mutiny in the army. I think a mutiny against such an illegal order will make our army only stronger. The army is evicting Arabs from their homes in East Jerusalem, which Palestinians hoped to make their capital. Outraged, Arabs tried to save their homes but the Israelis had the guns. Israel demolished more than a hundred Arab homes in the past year, ruling they'd been illegally built. Arabs say this is just another tactic to drive them out. But officials say they also knocked down unauthorized Jewish buildings on the West Bank. They're put up by youngsters, the next generation's campaign to populate the land. Daniela Weiss told us they will not be stopped. The army 
tore this down this morning. Yes. And now you're rebuilding it. Yes, and we will have the upper hand. I but the army will tear it down again. So we will rebuild it. The experience shows that the world belongs to those who are stubborn, and we are very stubborn. Stubborn, she says, because they were ordered to populate this land by no less an authority than God. This is the mission of our generation. The most important point is this. To hold strong to the soil of the Holy Land.